Hello people, and welcome back to News Review. Alright, so, a new crossover has been released, TOS X Gurren Lagann. I, as always, I have no knowledge of this anime, so there will be no bias towards characters that I like or don't like, unlike other people who have probably watched this anime. This will just be an analysis based on their power levels. So straight up, I'm just going to tell you, this series is, well, the main prizes have, is, are just weaker than uh, Full Metal Alchemist because they work on a very similar kind of system. Uh, they're both Machina and they combine into one giant character, which is why I have a uh, setup right here. I don't know which one of these is the 1% jackpot if like either of these this is definitely not uh 1% jackpot this is one of the sub jackpots but one of these is a 1% i don't know which one uh yep there's a diamond seal and okay first off you have oh that's another gimmick is you change your draconic into something power of spiral in this case uh for Kamina and gurin um Everything has everything for one round. Uh, you inactivate the enemy and you deal more damage. And for 50%, I think that's pretty good because everything equals everything. It's a very useful effect to have, no matter for attack or recovery. Um, this is all over the place. Let's let's see here. What is leader skill? So I'm just gonna go over this quickly because I want to get to the combined one. Um, when the team includes only Machinas or the, the seal characters, you get a time six attack multiplier and a stat boost of 1.2. Heart has the effect of everything. Uh, turn one water, fire and earth, and enchanted Machina into each round. Um, this requires you to have these Moonstones actually, which is why it's not that much of a help in terms of shield breaking. If you know you don't have like water, then it won't convert into anything. <laughs> Obviously, it won't convert something else into a uh, water in China market Moonstone. And there's an extra stab boost here when the leader and not is a combined character. And this six point is apparently i think it's meant to synergize with the fourth point because you get an extra attack boost let's move on next to uh simon and lagan uh oh no that's not his uh, this is formatted in a very weird way i apologize let's take a, let's take a look at simon lagan's leader skill very similar to uh, the other guy, I've already forgotten his name. Uh, you wouldn't use these guys as uh, like separate, as like essentially separately. It would be the same thing, probably Simon and Lagan taking the position of leader, dual leader, and then uh, having um, Kamina and Gurren next to him just like uh, full metal alchemist brotherhood where uh, edward in the leader slot and uh, alphonse next to him because he has a uh, instant extension time um yeah this is also a bit of a synergy you have enchanted water fire earth moonstone and some innate damage reduction so yes okay so this is a passive, in addition to that active I mentioned earlier. Um, you can explode a 3x3 area of moonstone, and you can either give yourself an attack boost, or uh, heart moon, or recover HP, which when you explode heart moon stones. That, I mean, you've seen in the active skill of the newest Y Weekly card, I don't think it's particularly good, but having it every round could be uh, a pretty useful thing to have, not in terms of uh, 
shield breaking or whatever, but like just in terms of a passive attack. For their actives, uh, Simon of the Gun is an unlocker, although only for uh, his own seal. He explodes pet fight room zones and the bottom three rows to generate enchanted room zones. This, although, uh, and still an uncommon active, is becoming uh, more and more common as cars just get uh, specific uh, rune stones, like cars can just deal with specific rune zones with their active. Um, ignoring initial shield, I think this is all, this is pretty unique. A very few cards can do that. I think I can think of a cancer off the top of my head, but I think there's also the bird from Primal Deities. I'll put them up right here. Although this might not be a particularly good one because again, it's only his own attack. Next up for Cameron and Gurin's actives. Uh, basically, it's the protagonist, which is. Personally, I find this kind of kind of sad because uh, adding three of the rune stones was like a special thing that protagonists had, and you know, chaos is an exception because he's chaos. But for like a collab character to like take over one of the most original actives that was in TOS, personally, I feel pretty sad. But that's besides the point. Um, you know how good the protagonist actives are either it's old-fashioned but you can use it to solve combo shields you can use it to avoid like something that's already on the board but it only affects a lower section of the board it's useful um and an attack boost and this fourth one is basically useless all right so let's move on to when they come by. You recover all of HP, you recover the Iconic, and you increase all Mach members, all of the of in that are in this seal uh, to 100%. So again, reinforcing like the if you pull on the seal, you can get a full team sort of deal. Um. So basically this is a mishmash of their own uh, leader skills. You can take a look at this. I'm not going to spend too much time. Uh, their team skill is better. You, When you explode a 3x3 three three area now, you generate water, fire, and earth respectively in the rows. So like one row of water, one row of fire, and one row of earth. So you get like an additional three combos, which sometimes can be useful, but as the team is primarily a fire machina team archetype, I think uh, this will not be m like very much in terms of an attack boost, but still good to have that there. Makes it that much better because, as I said, it's not probably going to be used for shield breaking. Um, the I can't remember who's active is who's, but both their actives become a bit better. So this time it's attack times 8. So previously it was times 5, but this time it's times 8, so this maybe would become more useful. And then for the other guys, uh, active, now you have a fixed number of enchanted, uh, fixed number of runestones, like in the top area. Uh, it's 12 seconds, whereas I believe on his own it was 10, and for there's an additional fifth point turn or all rune stones is the market rune stones at the end of the round. Um, could be useful for avoiding some like frozen rune stones, petri rune stones if you use uh, Veronica from uh, Border of the Realm. You'll you'll know how useful this is. And next, this other, oh, yeah, so let me just talk briefly about why I put them here. Uh, one of them is definitely 175 diamonds, but I don't think 
then they're actually worth it because if you can see the just inbuilt like team as it is, it's not. I don't think it's stronger in terms of like attack stronger than uh, Full Metal Alchemist. And if you have pulled on Full Metal Alchemist, then I don't encourage you to pull on this one for the uh, full jackpot. I do recommend you to pull for Yoko though. I personally, I got everything but uh, Edward Elric for uh, Full Metal Alchemist. So I'm also just going to pull for Yoko. Uh, Fire Machina, the, the main reason is because just Fire Machina doesn't really have support. But if you're relatively new and you don't have uh, any meta teams or if you just have an affinity for a fire magma teams, then I sure pull on this. It's not weak by any means. Collaborations are never weak when they first come out. But if you want to save your diamonds, pull on Yoko. I'm just going to talk about why Yoko is so good. Uh, team skill. This is when she's uh, both leader and ally. Uh, fire and heart possess the effect of each other, and you automatically convert columns below the leader below her into either fire or heart depending on your HP and you get CD minus 5 so maybe a uh, farming leader in the future but her active is you can take a look at the let's take a look at the leader skill first um it's really you know this really reminds you of like Lucy from a fairy tale because you have the, again like the more characters of uh, Team Daigun in the team, you get like more and more effects. But as I said, it's not really a uh, meta leader, more like a farming leader. But her active is really where like this card becomes good. So CD five, right? Not to mention she's a uh, fire human, so you can put her into Roy. Upon skill activation at and at the end of each round, you get automatic fire resistance and automatic heart resistance. So that's already nuts. Leader attack times three. When you have Roy combined, that's insane. Uh, when all resistance are dissolved in the first batch, uh, that, that's not very good when you don't run her in uh, the team Daigurin team. Um, you deal two million non-attributed damage to an enemy before you attack regardless of defense and enchanted moonstone shield so you can maybe just straight up like damage an enemy by this active and then they die unlikely but useful in farming again um the skill stays in play yeah this is a stat boost i forgot to mention it's so broken uh, and upon deactivation, turn all resistance into enchanted resistance of 5 attributes. And he's also an automatic quintet uh, enchanted shield solver. This card is just insane. I did. You know what? Let me just change that right now. Alright, I've talked myself into it. This card is worth 175 damage absolutely amazing uh member just because like fire humans are a recurring like archetype of teams and she's just like insane very insane and i don't even know why she has synergy with her own seal because one point i didn't mention for why these guys are not actually worth 175 and also why they are weaker than full metal alchemist the jackpots from that series is because they can't put in humans. They can only put in Machinas. So even Yoko can't go. I mean, Yoko can go in that team because, yes, it's the only seal, but you can't borrow cards like old cards. Which is, yeah, as I said, if you're an old player then I, and you're trying to save diamonds, I do encourage you to only pull for Yoko. But if you're a new player, uh, the team can support itself with only one seal. So, yeah. Now let's move on to things that Madhead has not translated. Well, one of them they have. New ultimate stage. Um, I don't think this card is very good. I, you can see right there, get one. Uh, Light Demon CD8, that's pretty long. Uh, turn on runestones into Demon runestones uh, for one round. Extend runestone movement time to 25 seconds. 
dodge all attacks of dark enemies, and really, you don't need to pay attention to that last point. The only thing that I see that's okay here is uh, point 0.3, but it's still like very, very niche, so I don't think it'll see much use. Anyway, let's move on to things that may have not translated. Alright, uh, next is an Arena Evolve branch. A uh, new Evolve branch, uh, Water Dragon CD6, uh, self attack times 1.5. Uh, for three rounds uh, at the end of each round and when you activate it uh, turn water runestones into enchanted water runestones um, you have you change the drop rate of heart to zero and add it to water not particularly good because I mean like again this kind of skill you already have one jolt and one jolt is not good you need the Atlantis PR please <laughs> water teams to become good again um and a new arena card uh water machina cd6 uh if you have more or equal to 10 uh, water wisdom you turn you enchant the board and provide a one point piece attack and recovery boost if you don't have that then you convert uh water resistance until they're convert resistance into water resistance until there are 10 that's it, none of the free to play cards are really that good, unfortunately. Um, but I am. Well, I'm excited to see what the rest of the cards are, the five small prizes, I think, if these do turn out free jackpots. I think Yoko is a jackpot. She's too good to be a normal uh, small prize. But yeah, the five small prizes might have something in store as well. You never know. Um,. Thank you for watching. I see that uh, there have been more subscribers recently. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, leave a like if you like this video. Uh, comment if you want to say something. Uh, join my guild and add me as a friend. They're both in the description. And yeah. Stay tuned for more uh, Guru and Lagan collaboration news. And I will see you next week. See ya.